Hey everyone, we have a bit of an update to a story we posted yesterday about Nintendo being under some uh, harassment claims. You guys can go watch that video if you want the full context because internally Nintendo's Doug Bowser has responded to these claims in, I would say, the most appropriate way you can. And this is probably a positive spin, however... It, you know, we, we don't really know what's going to come of this, if anything, at this point. Now, before we get into exactly what Doug Bowser said, I want to sit here and remind you guys that today's episode is sponsored by the Nintendo Prime Podcast. That's right. The Nintendo Prime Podcast is your source for all Nintendo news and discussion. We have multiple guests on all the time. This week, we actually just have our co-hosts, Eric Moore and Mike Odyssey. We are going to be live tonight at 8 p.m. Central on the Nintendo Prime Podcast channel. There'll be a link down in the description to that specific episode for you guys to go check it out live. That being said, let's get right into the news and get into the update on this story from Nintendo's own Doug Bowser. So you see we're here at Kotaku, and we're going to stick with them since they are the ones that originally broke the story. And it says Nintendo is actively investigating recent claims of misconduct. Doug Bowser said he's aware of today's media coverage involving claims about worker conduct. Yesterday, Nintendo of America's president, Doug Bowser, sent out an internal message to employees acknowledging the media coverage involving claims made about worker conduct. He wrote that we have and will always investigate any allegations we become aware of, and we are actively investigating the most recent claims. This message, which Kotaku has viewed and which is shared with us by a source Kotaku has confirmed currently works at Nintendo, who posted to the company's internal SharePoint account. Kotaku has also corroborated the message authenticity with two other current Nintendo employees. In the message, Doug Bowser reassured current employees that Nintendo was taking the allegations seriously. We have strict policies designed to protect our employees and associates from inappropriate conduct and expect full compliance with these policies by all who work for or with us, Doug wrote. We have and will always investigate any allegations we become aware of, and we are actively investigating the most recent claims. Bowser's message was posted on the same day that Kotaku published the investigation report about female contractors who had experienced sexual harassment while working on ga as game testers at Nintendo of America's Redmond, Washington headquarters. Our sources accused two managers who worked at Nintendo of workplace misconduct, and the report described internal workplace culture that was a frat house. Uh, last November, Bowser did condemn the sexual harassment allegations at Activision Blizzard as distressing and disturbing, saying that the sexual harassment and toxicity run counter to my values as well as Nintendo's beliefs, values, and policies. Several days later, Nintendo updated its corporate governance document with a commitment to increase the number of female managers at the company. Please remember that our HR teams are here to support you, wrote Bowser. If you experience have experienced, witnessed, or have witnessed anything concerning such behavior that is contrary to our standards of conduct, employee handbook, or company values, please immediately contact your HR business partner. Now, that's all good and handy. If you remember in the initial allegations, uh, many of them did contact their local HR partner, and nothing came of it. So, that's part of the allegations is that contacting HR in this particular case didn't actually work. It didn't, it failed. Uh, but again, that is something that, well, investigating Nintendo can obviously figure out. Look, I think this whole situation is obviously really, really cruddy either way that it goes, right? Whether the allegations are true or the allegations are untrue, it's still sort of a cruddy situation in general that Nintendo of America finds themselves in. I also want to note uh, a few things before we sign out here that have been bothering me a little bit about the coverage of this story, and not just that several of my fellow YouTubers seem to be refusing to cover this, but also the way that some of you, not all, have been behaving. Look, these are just allegations. We don't know if they're true or not, and if we're completely blunt and honest about the whole situation, none of us... Not a single one of us are in a position to make a judgment one way or another on this. We have no direct knowledge. We are not directly involved. I'm just sharing information. We don't know who's lying. We don't know if there's any lying. We don't know anything, right? We don't know anything about what's happening other than these allegations exist. And I think allegations like this are of serious nature and are something that we should at least have an open dialogue about. But remember, none of us are in a position to actually know what happened. So... 
I would kindly ask the community to please treat each other with respect in regards to this. Let's not be just super dismissive of the claims, but let's also not just assume the claims are 100% true. We need to remember that none of us are in the position to make a call on any of this, and none of us are going to be involved in the investigative efforts of this. All we can do is just hear the stories and feel how we feel. And you're not wrong for feeling how you feel, but let's just be a bit more respectful. Also, if anyone in the community uh, thinks that, you know, the solution to any of this is to just eliminate women from the workplace, I kindly ask you to, to, to unsubscribe from the channel and go elsewhere. I'm not going to name any names. You guys know who you are in the comment section from the last video. But uh, it's kind of sort of a disgusting behavior. I, I don't want to say the term, but it's obviously not good to speak ill of people that you don't even know. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. A little bit of an update. Catch you guys tonight at the Nintendo Prime podcast.